Hello, I'm Tina Cornish. In this video, I'm going to share with you some easy steps of how to be in the flow of your guidance for your goals and intentions. This approach is quite different to the normal goal setting approach where you write down a goal and you write down steps that you can take in order to achieve that goal. That method is quite of a controlled method because you will have a list where you've got to take action on certain things and you will force yourself through the day to get that done. This method that I'm going to teach you is a very open manner. It's being completely in touch and in flow with your guidance and your soul and completely open to the universe. You would start by writing down your goal or your intention and then you will not write down anything about how to do it and how to achieve it. What you will do, you will start your day off in a completely open manner. And this could be waking up and saying, I'm open and I'm ready to serve in order to achieve my goal. By doing this, you are immediately setting an intention to be open to the universe, to allow the guidance to come forth. And this would be guidance from your soul, guidance from your own spirit guides, God and angels. And the entire universe will rearrange itself to support you fully and completely to achieve that goal. And another thing that's going to happen is you are going to get thoughts and ideas that spontaneously come to you. Now, please, I would like you to go with the flow of this because that is the true essence of this method. You will receive spontaneous ideas of what to do. At first, you may think to yourself that this doesn't really relate exactly to achieving your goal. Perhaps it's not something that you would have written down as a step to take to, receive, to achieve that goal. But just have trust and faith that that thought is coming to you for a reason. And it's coming with a complete energy vibration for you. You need to just be in that space to allow yourself to take that action immediately. And I truly mean immediately because the sooner that you take action on that thought and that idea that comes to you, it will come forth in a manner of just serving you. Everything will allow, will just rearrange itself and the time will be allowed for you to get that done. The entire energy will just come forth. So you must just take action immediately, as soon as you can. And you will discover through this method, you will be able to get a lot more done relating to achieving your goals. And over time, you will discover that every little tiny step and thought that you've taken action on actually fits together like a puzzle pieces just fitting together in order to bring you that goal and that achievement. And that truly is a way of being in tune with the universe, being in tune with your own soul, being completely open and aware. Till we meet again, go forward in love and light. Question one, how do I do it? This is a very simple method. There's no need to make it difficult. The first thing you will do is write down your goal or your intention of what you would like to achieve. Secondly, you can immediately or every single day when you wake up in the morning, you can state to the universe, I am open to the flow of my guidance for my highest good, or you can say, I am open to serving my goal. Any, any way you would like to word it, the important thing is you would like to include the word, I am open, and you are setting the attention of aiming for your goal that you would like to achieve. Then, you need to just be in the flow 
of your guidance and allow yourself to go through the day in a spontaneous manner and that means responding immediately to any thoughts that come your way. Question two, how can I trust the universe? Well, this is going to be really dependent on you. When I refer to the universe, I am meaning your own soul, God, your spirit guides, whoever you refer to as the bigger picture as the universe. You are really basically already in that flow. So you just need to, to trust it more. And the only way you can really trust it is by practicing it and gaining that confidence every time that you find you are definitely aligned and in the flow of your guidance. Question number three. What if I battle with my thinking brain and it interferes? Well, with this method, there is no battle. This is a space where you completely love and accept that thinking brain of yours. That thinking brain is what's responding to your soul, to your guidance. It is helping you to be in that flow. And this is exactly what this method is going to involve is allowing those thoughts to come to you. That thinking brain is working. It is picking up the vibrational frequency of you aligning to your goal. And you need to just listen to it. You need to respond to it. By responding, I mean taking action. And this action can be writing down the thought or if you are in the position to do it immediately, you do it immediately. It is as simple as that. So the thinking brain is completely embraced and united with this method. Question four. I tried this method out and I sit at my desk not knowing what to do. So now what? Okay, this is actually quite common especially in the in the initial stage and if you are completely conditioned to having a goal where you've written down your action steps and those steps you are forcing yourself to take that action during your day it can be quite difficult just to shift into it initially but once you've done it once or twice you will have the confidence and that trust because you will discover how the universe just completely supports you I would like to share with you an example because I've experienced this myself. I've sat at my desk and I still now, in the morning when I've woken up, I have already aligned myself, I've set my intention, I've stated my statement to the universe and up until the time that I've sat at my desk, I've had no thoughts. I have no idea what to do. So there are some steps that you can do. Number one, you can close your eyes and just center yourself and focus on yourself. Connect to your heart, connect to your soul and reaffirm that you are open and you're receptive. If this still doesn't work, then just be silent and pay attention to the thoughts that are coming to you. Now this could be a thought that is completely and utterly not aligned with what you would think is your goal. For instance, I've had the thought, because I live near the beach and I love walking on the beach, I've sat down and thought, let me rather go for a walk on the beach. And I immediately get up and I go off and I have a lovely walk. But here's what happens during the walk. I get to meet along on the beach a friend. And this friend stops and has a chat with me and asks me about my book and we get chatting and then she mentions something else 
she says she watched a video and she liked it and it inspired her. I should do more. And then she was asking me about beliefs. And that one little word, belief, just sent an entire spark through me. It was like a light being switched on. And we walked away and for the rest of my walk on the beach, my mind was racing. It was filled with all of these wonderful ideas. I can answer her questions that she was having. I can do more videos. I can do this and I can do that. My mind was completely and utterly flowing. So what actually happened? I got home and I immediately responded to those thoughts. So let me just explain a little bit to what really has happened here. At the time that I sat down at my desk, I didn't know what to do. Or so I thought. I was getting a thought that was go walk on the beach. But to my thinking brain and to my past controlled methods of taking action on my goal that did not appear to be related to my goal at all. But as I responded, the universe had arranged for somebody to come forward with that guidance for me. She was asking questions and she was sharing ideas with me which sparked my flow and suddenly I was completely and utterly in the flow. My entire day was just consumed by carrying out all of those tasks and I had the time to just do it and it all worked out perfectly with complete ease. So that is really a good example of being in the flow. If you think you don't have a thought and you are stuck, you don't know what you do, just take action on any thought that is coming to you, even if it is not related to your final goal. Question number five. How can I believe in what you are saying with this method? Is it true? Well, I cannot interfere with your beliefs. Your beliefs are your own. You make your own assumptions about things in your life and you create a belief around it. So if you are having trouble believing something, I would suggest that you sit down and work through your beliefs. Uh, if you would like more help on this, you could refer to my book if you have not seen it or read it. It is Be Aware. That will help you a lot more in finding your beliefs and actually changing them. Some beliefs in our lives actually are a problem for us and they actually create a block in our life. So it would be a good idea for you to get onto that and work on that. All I can say is I believe in this method. I use this method. I trust it. And I am completely astounded at how the universe completely supports me when I use this method. So I can't change your belief for you, but you can work on that on yourself. Question six. This method sounds like it could be a day full of distraction with no focus even projects that won't get finished. Now, of course, some of your projects could be bigger than it would take for to be completed in a day. Um, sometimes you are feeling distracted. But what this method does is it provides you with the energy to do what is in front of you. And if you are very much in that flow, trusting it, you will get various thoughts coming to you. What I personally find is, let's say I've, I've had this thought, send an email to somebody. I immediately get up, write, do this email. And as I'm ending this email, I get a thought, record the video. I now attend to this video and I record it. Then in the middle of just coming or towards the end of this video, I get the thought, no, go and do this. 
And this is how your day can be. Now, in the old method, you would find that this is quite distracting because what it is requiring for you is to go with that flow and be spontaneous. Okay. However, if you keep following these thoughts and taking action immediately, the universe is fully and completely supporting you. It is providing you with that energy to get it done. For instance, with the email, your thoughts are there, your energy is aligned, and you can write that email quickly. And then you immediately move on to the next one with the video. Everything was aligned, the thoughts were there. It didn't take me an entire day to, to record it. It took me a couple of minutes because I was in the energy, within the flow, the thoughts were there, and I was responding immediately. So that is where the spontane spontaneity comes in for this method, is you need to take action. Do, do not think that you are going to be distracted. It can appear that way in the beginning when you are shifting into this method. And with regards to some of the projects not being finished, I have experienced this, especially when I use this for my creative projects and the creative projects are actually going to take longer than a day. It's stretched over into like three weeks. Obviously, you, you do not up day and night doing this project. You are doing other things in between. But what I have found is that time period where I'm away from the project, where, for instance, I've stopped my day now and I've paused completing this project. In that time period, I get more thoughts relating to that exact project. And I think, no, hang on, let me rather try it this way. Let me rather do it this way. And then the next day when I get back onto the project, I attend to that thought that I've had. So the whole time, the universe hasn't forgotten about me, my soul hasn't forgotten about me, it is completely aligning me the whole time. It is helping me to be in that flow. And that is what makes this method so amazing. I just truly love it. And I hope you get to enjoy it just as much as I do.